Okay, so there's quite a few bits that we need to do for this question. And when you're doing this in the exam, make sure you show all the steps of your working out. So the first angle I'm going to work out is this one. And to work out that one, I'm going to do 180 take away 170, which equals 10 degrees. And I'll give the reason angles on straight line equal 180 degrees. Okay, next one I can work out is, uh, sorry, I'll mark that one, why not? Mark that onto the diagram. Next one I can work out is this one. And this is going to be 10 degrees, so it's 10 degrees because, oh, I'll put in brackets, it's an isosceles triangle. And the bottom two angles um, are always equal in an isosceles triangles. That is assuming that the two equal angles, sorry, equal lengths are, are left and right. So these two are. If it's upside down, then clearly it's going to be the top two here. Okay. And the last step is to find our x, and I'll do it in a purple actually, so it shows up a bit more better. So x equals, it would be 180 take away 10 times 2, so take away 20, which would be 160 degrees. And the reason for that is uh, angles in triangle equal 180 degrees. And it's really important that you write down all the reasons for every step and to check your answer so 160 at the top 170 180 so the triangle adds up and 170 and 10 make 180 so the straight line at the bottom left adds up